Hello everybody, welcome to your first lesson on HTML5. And today you'll be learning about the absolute basics of HTML5. Now let's get started. So what's what is HTML5? Well HTML5 is just the latest the current latest version of HTML as of the time I'm recording this video. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's not a programming language, but it's a markup language. A markup language is a set is basically made up of a set of markup tag tags and the purpose of these tags is to describe the page content. So in essence, HTML is the basic building blocks of uh web pages. So HTML is uh really easy to learn. Um you all you need is a web browser like Internet Explorer, Firefox or Google Chrome. I suggest you get uh better uh, browsers instead of Internet Explorer since Firefox and Google Chrome have uh, better HTML support so I suggest you get either Firefox or Google Chrome and you need a text editor like Notepad but uh, in future videos we'll be using Notepad++ which is so much easier to use since it highlights uh, your code but for this tutorial we will be using Notepad so go ahead and open up Notepad There we go. So the first thing you're gonna write is just uh, a pair of uh, angle brackets. Now, uh, you, all you need to do to write these angle brackets on standard keyboards is uh, press shift and hold it, and then click the comma button for this, for the uh, the greater than angle bracket sign, and for the less than sign, just uh, hold shift and then click your period button on your keyboard and you'll make a set of these. Now the first tag we're gonna make is just put in between these tags uh, exclamation mark and then put in doc type in uh, uh, capitals HTML. Now this just declares our document type as an HTML document. Now this is what you call a tag. Now this specific tag does not have a closing tag which most tags do. So let me show you an example. The next thing you're gonna write is HTML and then the same thing over again but put a forward slash in the second character like this now this is a set of uh, a ta of tags anything in between these tags are affected by uh, whatever type of tag it is now HTML is obviously made up of tags and uh, they are basically keywords surrounded by angle brackets they usually co they normally come in pairs like this uh, they have an opening tag or a start tag and a closing tag or an end tag. Now, this example right up here does not have a uh, closing tag because uh, there is no need for one. Um, uh, the only difference between the starting or the opening tag and the ending tag is just this forward slash. So let's start uh, coding a bit more. I'm just spacing these out to make it easier to understand. You don't have to space them out. Make sure you write your tags in lowercase because when you're moving on to XHTML, which is just an extensible edition of HTML, uh, you're, you have it requires you to have uh, lowercase tags, uh, excluding this, of course. So just the next thing you're going to type in between these HTML tags, which just define, uh, which uh, just tell you that these uh, the web page is going to be an HTML web page. Uh, you're going to type in head with the closing tag and an opening tag. Okay, so right now we have uh, doc type HTML, which just defines your uh, document type as a HTML document, and uh, HTML opening and closing tag right here. The, this basically does the same thing as this, but you need this here. And the head tag. Now the head tag just defines uh, where the title, metadata, and other descriptive information appears. So in here, let's define our title. Now to do this, all you need to do is just put title, and then the closing version of it. Now anything in between these two tags are um, going to be defined as your title. So let's put in uh, my first web page. You can name this anything you want, by the way. Okay, so, 
this now we have an actual content on the web page because none of this will be shown on the actual web page once we save it as an HTML document. Only this will be the title. And by title, I mean this. If I open up my internet browser, at the top right here, it says Mo Mo Mozilla uh, Firefox Startup Page. Now that's a title, not like the actual title on the web page itself. So, uh, let's head on into the actual body of the page. So we have the HTML document, which is this entire thing, the HTML tags, the head, and now we need the body. Now do the exact same thing. Put in body and then the closing tags. Like so. Now the body tag, it's just all the content in your web page basically. Um, it's the content that appears in uh, your browser window and for practice you could just type a simple paragraph for the body text so to type a paragraph you could just type in any text you want but if you want it to be more organized just use the paragraph tags which is P and then the closing paragraph tag now in between here will be our paragraph and this is the reason we're going to be using HTML or Notepad++ afterwards. It's because um, uh, it's a lot easier to see your content and the structure of the tags. So for the paragraph, let's just type our first paragraph. And uh, we also need a header, right, uh, for our actual uh, content. So in between the body tags, right above your paragraph, type in h1 and then slash h1. Now this is just a full-sized header uh, tag, it just makes your page have a header. So in here type our header. So that's enough for the, our first HTML document. Let's go ahead and save this. Now to save this, all you need to do is click File, Save As, name it anything you want on your desktop. I'm going to put it on my desktop, but you should make your own separate folder for all your HTML documents. I'm going to name it First Web Page. And then here's uh, where uh, we actually uh, change it from text document to all files. Make sure you select all files. And then put .html. Then just click Save. Now it should appear where you saved it. And my default browser is set on H, uh, Firefox, that's why you see that little icon there. So let's go ahead and open this. As you can see, our web page is now loaded. It's not much right now, but we could see the comparison between the code and the web page. So we declared HTML up here, the HTML tags are here. As you can see, none of the tags are showing because the web page actually interpreted our content instead of just displaying it. And here's our head. It's not shown here, but here's our title, my first web page. Now the title's right up here. And then our inner body, which is our content basically, we have our header, which is H in H1. Our header, that's the full size you could go to. And then uh, we have a paragraph right here, so our first paragraph. Now let me just uh, explain what the web browser just did. So the purpose of a web browser is to read HTML documents and to display them as uh, uh, web pages. So the browser does not display HTML tags, but uses the tags to interpret the content of the page itself. Uh, HTML documents are made up of HTML tags and plain text. Let's just get that across. So these are the HTML tags, and here's the actual plain text, which you can see on the actual web page itself. Now, let's exit out of this. Now, if you want to make a change, you don't have to save it. Uh, uh, save another copy of this web page. All you need to do is just change something. Like, let's make this H5, which will just make it a lot smaller. And then click File, Save. Then just double-click your web page again. And as you can see, your header is really small. Now you could uh, do this all the way up till H6, uh, I believe. So you could do H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, or H6. Let's just try the smallest right now. Let me just click File, Save. Let's open it up. 
as you can see it's really really small in our header so this is all I'll be teaching you this is all that I will be teaching you uh, for this lesson it might have been a bit confusing if you have any questions please do uh, um, send them to me uh, via private messages instead of comments because uh, I don't always get notifications of comments on my YouTube channel so thanks for watching please do comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson